Hi and welcome. In this video we will check out how our incredible synchronized solo strings with more than 150,000 samples have been implemented in our Synchron player and how you can benefit from this transition. We decided to go with our full preset and the close mixer preset with each player in the correct position with the orchestra. Of course you will find mixer presets with different player positions and also more choice for solo performances and more intimate settings. Herb Tutzmandl himself has created the examples in this video and he added a short explanation to each of them. We'll start with the single notes and the shortest articulations for the solo cello one, the spiccatos. As soon as you are playing faster, spiccato is the weapon of choice and for the solo strings we have even recorded a performance version that captures all interval steps an octave downwards and upwards from every note in the range of the instrument. Just like a legato, but with the incredibly quick playing style which gives you authentic transitions when playing those highly artistic spiccato figures. On top of this, you get a fast variation of the performance spiccato, where we have extracted half and whole tone steps from scales. So those are incredible tools for playing fast scales. The auto speed mode switches for you between normal and fast performance spiccatos, depending on your playing speed. As spiccato playing is naturally limited in terms of volume, we have recorded some harsh articulations, where our players played as loud and brutal as possible, without breaking the instrument. Also a great tool to emphasize intensity when you are using those solo instruments as the first players in a section. Let's switch to the solo violin one. The classic staccatos are single note samples and they are great to use in passages with a slow to medium tempo. All detachés are single note samples and are now equipped with our release sample technology which allows for a more authentic performance with shorter notes and adds a lot of flexibility for your playing. And vibrato crossfade allows you to blend between no vibrato and vibrato. As this is always tricky with solo instruments, it will work best with fast transitions. The default controller for vibrato crossfade is CC20. The performance detachés are designed to let you play a connected detaché legato. The very important difference to the performance legato is that the performance detachés were recorded with a bow change with every interval. Next up, the long notes, and you can see that you have a great selection to choose from. Incredibly helpful to create authentic performances, as each of these variations adds a different nuance. This is what a real-life player will select from automatically when interpreting a musical phrase by controlling the level of vibrato and using different levels of marcato to accentuate different notes. Our new stretching engine is a great tool here as you can influence the vibrato speed in real time with CC34. To get there, activate stretching in the edit window, don't activate host syncing, we'll come to that later, and control the vibrato speed in real time with the stretch factor. 
the default value of this stretch factor is 64. Low values will result in a slower vibrato, higher values will speed up the vibrato. Next in line are famous performance legatos. What's new in this synchronized version of solo strings is that you can choose between looped and unlooped versions. The looped version contains the original legato note transitions and then fades into the looped sustained notes. The unlooped version plays the originally recorded target note, which is about 3 seconds long. So you have more choice here and you're always safe with the looped version when playing live. There are many more options available like legato with progressive vibrato, and a sulla corda legato, where every possible note is played on the deepest string of the instrument. We call these articulations performance articulations, as all note transitions from the minor second to the octave, upwards and downwards from every starting note in the range of each instrument have been recorded and now you can authentically perform these note transitions. And these transitions have always been performed without a bow change. Very useful as well, the fast legatos in different variations. We produce those by recording short scales instead of only one interval transition and extracted the half tone and whole tone steps to create authentic fast transitions. The auto speed option reacts to your playing speed and switches between regular and fast legatos for you. Coming to the performance trills, which are incredibly useful to play trills, runs and any fast figures that are repeating the same notes and transitions often. To capture the material we needed to create such a performance, we recorded round robins of six interval repetitions from a minor second to a fourth. And of course there's an auto speed mode available here as well. You also get two portamento options, a regular portamento and zigan with an even more intense expression. Now this is a good opportunity to show some more possibilities that are now available with our real-time time stretching feature. With Portamento, you can now manipulate the Portamento in real-time. The default CC for this stretch factor is 34. In most cases, you will not want to affect the vibrato intensity of the target note, so you will want to use the stretch factor for the transition only. Performance marcato patches were recorded just like the legato patches, but with an expressive bow change, so you get a clear accentuation on the given target note. And the fast marcatos are a great additional option to perform scale runs.
and you will like the auto speed that takes care of the articulation switching for you. We're coming to the recorded dynamics with the first available category focusing on the volume change at the start of each note, the accents, fortepiano, sforzando and sforzatissimo. Soft dynamics are crescendos and diminuendos that have been recorded in two velocities in different lengths. So you can either play a crescendo from pianissimo to mezzo piano or from mezzo forte to fortissimo. Strong dynamics will play through the whole range, from pianissimo to fortissimo, again in different lengths. These are definitely very expressive articulations and with the Synchron player you have quite a few advantages over the VI version. We have implemented all available release samples, so you can play with those natural dynamics any way you like. The right release sample makes sure that your note always has a perfect ending. So you could create a very careful, super fragile portato playing when you're only using the start of a crescendo and of course the same system works with the diminuendos, both in a melody and of course at the end of a phrase. Our soft dynamics come with and without vibrato and also with the vibrato crossfade option. And of course there's our piano forte piano articulation with a crescendo swell that turns into a diminuendo. Time stretching also helps to adapt the recorded length of those dynamics to exactly the right length you need in your arrangement. Use CC34 for real time control or adjust the BPM value until the length is fine for you. Let's get to the various pizzicato articulations. The normal pizzicato, a secco variation where the player dampens the string right after the note has been played and a snap or Bartok pizzicato, the loudest pizzicato possible, as the string is intended to hit the fingerboard for a maximum effect. And as a guest, colenio, where the short notes are played with the bow that hits the string. For the harmonics, the decision is between fingered and natural harmonics. Fingered means that the string is made shorter with one finger, while the other finger triggers the harmonic of the given note, sounding two octaves higher. Natural harmonics follow the harmonic series, so octave, fifth, fourth and so on. And that's also the reason why the fingered harmonics are available as a chromatic scale, while the natural harmonics are mapped as they are triggered on the string. What both playing techniques have in common, they are showing the highest registers of the instrument. Multi-shorts, 
a new term, but it's our old friends, the repetitions. We followed one simple principle when recording all those variations. The musician didn't play single notes, but repeated notes of the same pitch, with a certain technique, like staccato or spiccato, in a certain tempo. We have sliced those repetitions up and now, in the Synchron Player, added release samples to each of them, so now you can play them like our new single notes, but with the authentic note connection. More variation, more authenticity, and the Synchron Player switches through those round-robin variations for you. Why is this so important? Because a repeated note on a swinging string has quite a different attack from a normal single note. The logic behind all this has also been improved with the regular repetitions. In general, we decide whether a note is a starting note or if it's part of a phrase or a sequence. Previously, this logic was restricted to one pitch, making the repetition samples only interesting for note repetitions of the same note. But now, you can combine different notes and use these different variations in all possible combinations. So those multi-shorts are a great universal musical tool now, especially with mid-tempo and fast passages. The dynamic category comes with recorded crescendo and diminuendo repetitions. Just like in the regular repetitions, the slower repetitions, legato and portato, come with five dynamic steps. The faster ones come with nine dynamic steps. This category works with the old logic, so you will play through all available dynamic steps. And back if you stay on one note. If you switch to another note, the dynamic progression will start again. Great for dynamic waves of notes with the same pitch. Crescendo starts with pianissimo and diminuendo with fortissimo. Dynamic layers will be great for everyone who's interested in more flexibility for dynamic repetitions. You can choose which dynamic stage you want to trigger, so this is a great patch to work with the finest dynamic nuances in volume, with the most available velocity levels, up to 9 for the short repetitions. The default dynamic control is with CC1, your modulation wheel, but of course you can easily change that to velocity or key switches. One small reminder, if you repeat the same note at the same dynamic level, you will trigger the exact same sample, no round robins in this case. All of these repetitions were played with a bow change, but of course you also have repetitions without bow change available. Some musicians also call this technique bow vibrato. So what you hear is a stopped bow to create a repetition, and for the next repetition, the player starts to move the bow into the same direction as before. The first category of the phrases is tremolo, where you can choose from three variations. The fast attack variation has an optimized attack that lets you play a phrase conveniently as the player stays in the tremolo flow. The cut release variation is great to use for fast phrases, as there is no release sample in the way between the notes, so you don't have any overlaps there. It's a good idea to switch to the fast attack patch at the end of a phrase, to get a natural ending of the tremolo, with our release samples. And time stretching is of course also a great tool to influence the tremolo intensity, again with CC34 in real time.
Fast repetitions are exactly what the name implies. High speed repetitions at a fixed tempo. And of course you can fine tune these options with time stretching if you like. And don't forget that you can even manipulate the repetition speed in real time with CC34. The note release option provides a release sample as you leave the key. Cut release is the same system as with the tremolos. It's easier to connect different notes without a release sample in the middle. Additionally, we are providing dynamic progressions with these fast repetitions. The ricochet technique is a very special technique. Instead of changing the bow direction, the bow is being thrown onto the string to produce the repetitions, which in turn produces the lively, bouncy sound. The pre-recorded half and whole tone trills come as regular and dynamic variations and even with accelerando trills, where the trill frequency is increased. So you have quite a few options for trills now, and of course real-time time stretching is a great tool in this case as well. You can either choose from the available pre-recorded trills and manipulate them with time stretching and velocity crossfade, or you can perform the trills as you like with the performance trills that are available with our legatos. Next to the octave glissandos in two tempos, you will find performance glissandos that work just like the performance legato and portamento. And there is a specific patch for each string of the instrument. And of course, the Synchron Player Stretch Engine now offers the possibility to close the gap between slow and fast glissandos, as you can slow down or accelerate all available options as you like. An outstanding example for musical patches are the grace notes. You can hear interval steps in half tones and whole tones, performed in Cigan style to the major third, upwards and downwards, always in the direction to the target note. You get a good idea of the player's personality from the interpretation of these musical building blocks and you can actually get impressive and playful results using only those articulations. This takes us to the scale runs. Our solo violin one contains a great selection of scale runs, great for everybody who cannot play such fast runs on the keyboard. And of course these authentic performances of our musician will add to the realism of your arrangement. You will find major and minor scales as well as chromatic and whole tone scales both in legato and spiccato playing techniques. With this kind of patches, the time stretch engine of our Synchron player knows the tempo and you can therefore sync the tempo of the run with the tempo of your sequencer. Usually, these runs were recorded at a tempo of 100 BPM with 30 second notes. So, depending on the tempo of your piece, you can set the tempo as it is or interpret it as half time or double time. In this way, you can perform virtuoso scales in a very easy way. Those runs are of course mapped on the keys of the corresponding scale and the Synchron Player keyboard will show which keys are active. A0 and B0 lets you switch between upward runs and downward runs. A little tip here, 
If you are working with velocity crossfade, you can change the dimension controller from key switch to velocity. So now low velocities on the keyboard will trigger an upwards run, while higher velocities will trigger a downwards run. The terms Tasto and Ponticello tell the player to play closer to the fretboard, Tasto, or closer to the bridge, Ponticello. Tasto is usually used a lot for very quiet passages and Ponticello for a harsher sound that's rich in harmonics. And we are offering the most important articulations for these specific playing techniques and have even added legato patches. And now our Synchron player even allows us to blend between Tasto, Regular and Ponticello articulations in our factory preset assigned to CC1. I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough. See you next time.